you should be bringing in new people. Okay, Madeline. Um, the comprehensive health report is on page 14 and 15 of, of the report section. And there is, this is in regards to the first six months of the fiscal year, which is October 1 to March 31st. And this is the report. The, the question you had around the comprehensive health um, preferred pricing is occurred during April, um, May, and June of this year, the second, the third quarter of the second half of the year. And I will own up to that, and I am, I am not um, happy about what occurred, and I will own up to it and take responsibility from the standpoint that first communication is a two-way street, and I, I do um, get thousands of emails, and I'm not just exaggerating. Um, and there was a time frame from probably early February to March, 10th, 9th was the deadline, I believe, for recertification approval that was in my email queue, which I did not see. Um, there was no communication directly to me other than my staff when I returned from um, personal leave. And when I returned back on March 10th, the deadline had lapsed for my office, for me, the chair, to um, provide the recertification through an email notice. I was told prior to the email notice that it would be forthcoming, and I was told that by a staff person in my office who was given the information at an update meeting on a Friday morning um, previously to it actually occurring, that it was basically um, would be forthcoming. Um, I did not see the email. Um, there was no direct communication other than the agency called my staff person uh, my direct staff person who um, reviews my, takes my phone calls and reviews my emails and makes sure things are put in front of me for signature. And so um, she did get a phone call in my absence when I was out on personal time. And during that time, she did refer the agent to the health center, to the director of the health center. Um, that was the best she could do during my absence. Um, the deadline was on a Wednesday, a BC Wednesday. Um, the director of health was there, the liaison was there, vice chair was there, um, and there was no communication between the three of us. Um, so that time frame did lapse, and so we were given a notice on the 10th when I returned, um, and my staff person informed me that the certification was um, sent via email. She had not been copied. Nobody had been copied in the organization other than myself. This is a recurring process that happens annually. And again, it is preferred pricing for pharmaceuticals. And I did not see the email, but upon my return and my staff person telling me, I did immediately go look for it and did find it after the day after and subsequently emailed and corresponded with the agency and asked for consideration given that I was absent from um, my office for about a week or so. So they said there were only two conditions in which they would give um, extra consideration or a waiver and we did not meet that criteria. Um, one was, um, I forgot what they are, one was uh, uh, if there was a technical computer glitch or some sort was one criteria, and I can't remember what the other one was. This was back in March. So subsequently, we were put in notice that we can reapply for certification for preferred pricing for pharmaceuticals. Um, I did direct the, the health center to do so, to, to reapply. We did get a notice that our um, recertification application was accepted and approved and as of July 1st we would be back on the preferred pricing list. There was communication between myself, the business committee, the officers. There was an open discussion on a Wednesday agenda about what had transpired around this issue and I, I take ownership for that to the extent that I did not see it and upon my return I was 
told directly by my immediate staff that this had occurred. Um, I'm not happy about it, of course. Subsequently, that's why I, I believe a determination was made to um, go to back to a 30-day prescription process versus a 90-day that was allowed to help save um, money. There was a request to the business committee um, to give consideration of taking money out of contingency to give to the health center to help pay for three to $4 million worth of pharmaceuticals during that discussion, I had asked specifically, well, can you verify that the cost is to that number? Because that is a very large amount of money to be given consideration for a three month period. Um, I was not given any detail to justify that to go forward. We did ask for that detail to come to the attention of the business committee and myself and the officers. Um, the last notice that I seen in the budget um, meeting was there was $2.9 million spent for cost of supplies, cost of sales for the pharmacy. So that is an overall number that I had seen about two weeks ago, it may be less than that. And so it did not lend itself to a three or $4 million expenditure over a three month period. Um, the other thing is in, in a situation where somebody is given um, insurance. Um, we have, you know, a provider. Um, I have insurance, and if my pharmaceuticals are given to me for 30 days or 90 days, my insurance covers it. If my prescription costs are $10 or $100, my insurance pays for it. And so that was part of the rationale I was looking for: is what was the impact? I was told the impact was three to four million dollars, but I wanted verification that it was to that extent because I don't know how many people uh, receive third-party um, medical expense coverage, either through insurance, Medicaid, medical assistance, or other um, IHS funds to cover such costs. So I do accept responsibility in the fact that I did not know, I was not told directly until after my return. I was told by one staff person prior to it coming forward, or before and then I was told the day after upon my return. And so, you know, I apologize to everybody that that occurred and I accept the responsibility. I also accept the fact that, that communication is a two way street and I think the agency did what it could to, in, to inform my office. Unfortunately, my staff person did not know what to do other than to refer them to the appropriate person, which would be the health center um, to address that in my absence, um, other things could have happened, but there just was unfortunately a lack of communication amongst the parties, which included myself. So I do apologize for that. That is what is, has been the controversy among some of the conversations in the community. Um, that I think is what also Madeline did address. The other items that you're um, making reference to, I'm not familiar with Madeline, but I, I do offer this explanation and do accept responsibility to that extent. So. Um, we will move on. Um, any other questions or comments regarding the reports? 